guys, Poke here from the ISR and today we're going to, in this video we're going to go through and do a kind of express alter review. So I, I've been thinking, how am I even going to do it? Because there's so many heroes, I mean, do you know how many heroes we got right now? We got 90 hero slots. So, how I'm going to start is, I'm going to start from the heroes that matter, of course. So where do we go from? Let's go from the way, way, way back. I mean, uh, well, we all know the greens and the blues are are garrison heroes, so we don't really need to see that, right? And uh, next in line is gonna be um, definitely gonna start from Chef Walla right here. Chef Walla has a uh, ten of ten, eight of eight. He is. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go over the rest later on because of the way this is set up. So we got chef. I actually have two chef walla. Uh, I haven't tried any other talents before, but I will. These two, this war god one doesn't really do well, and and uh, at least in my setup. So we got two maxed out chef walla. We got a maxed out uh, skeletica with 88 flame guard right here. Uh, I have this uh, stone stone skin grimfin that I haven't really thought about maxing or even using and this is my main which is uh, 88 flame guard I don't think I have a second talent set up for him yet we have this that I used to use in uh, Infernal Summit but I haven't been I haven't had time to play Infernal Summit anymore but I will probably soon again and of course my main is going to be 88 flame guard I mean I wish I they had this uh, interchangeable talent earlier so I, I don't have to make this kind of deal because it's such a waste of resource I mean you see 100 inscription and 95 inscription right there and uh, we have the 8 to 8 Zerk Ronin that I I used to use him in Lost Battlefield but I don't not anymore I used to crest uh, scatter just to just to have fun and then this is the one that I used a lot in Guild Wars before uh, to kind of uh, to kind of clear the base basically <laughs> and we have uh, I have uh, two interchangeable talents on Anubis I finally got a skin and we are about to try out this two talents right here but I don't know if I should try what was working for the Lost Battlefield or I should try out Flame Guard I did use it on uh, Guild Wars offense and I kind of like it it does survive pretty well but I don't know and I have an AD War God that uh, that's not really I call it oh look at that 120 how do I even oh okay got it so yeah the war god I haven't really used uh, as much lately as well and then we have the 88 flame guard heartbreaker we got the 88 reserve I haven't used him for so long he, he was Rambo for a long time in in arena it's just so fast uh, we got the scatter ones. I had to remake that scatter one. Oh my god! Long story short, I mean it was it was something else, and then I moved it back to scatter. Uh, we have so now it, we were starting to go into the heroes that. Well, we have this right here, that used to be my main Valentina to be honest, and this be has become my main Valentina because I you know with a with a revive crash she is gonna be proccing no matter what. This is what I use for first few too. If, if, if I have it in a team, and a little Nick is not even maxed out. It's 10 to 10. We have a 10 to 10 Flame Guard SK, which is my main. Let's see if we have uh, no no talent yet. And then we have uh, I I just made this one to kind of try out on, on raids with this we crested uh, corrode. I had a five corrode too, so but I I, I just hold I was holding four corrode right there. But we I was using this for raids. Having him with 8 8 scatter and corrode crest and have a rock no a sasquatch. I mean, it was a lot of fun, but hey, maybe we, we'll get back to that one day. I have this uh, double uh, the, the slow down pumpkin duke and uh, revitalize as a backup. And I'm thinking to put my uh, finally get a chance to get the empower. So I don't know. I mean, I just have it in the warehouse. I don't know if I should make it or not. And uh, my main Demo Gorgon, I haven't used Demo Gorgon for so long, so I, ha I don't really uh, have a really play with him again. We have a backup Demo Gorgon that's, you know, halfway done as well. I, you know, that was lucky. I didn't put that there. 
Um, we have Blackjack that we haven't used for a long time. We got the Aries, haven't used for a long time as well. And Trixie, yeah, she's just there. I mean, if I one day if I want to build that Trixie treat that everybody uses for the Arch Demon, I have to spend so much fame for the second talent. And then we have the this is the uh, I have two Dread Drakes, so uh, could have could have changed all that. But this was for a long time what I used for Guild Wars for dungeons and stuff. Maybe I'll, I'll be using it for dungeons again. I haven't really had a chance to use him for a long long time we have a cupid 5-5 revitalized i wonder if i should max my golem 12 for 12 but uh like i said i mean whatever matters most we have a 8 to 8 flame guard storm eater i am enjoying the storm eater right now we have a serena 8 to 8 flame guard 12 for 12 we have the Dove Keeper 12 to L8 Brute Force. I might try a War God just for comparison because I think those two talents are so far the best for her. And we got a 12 12 Esperita with Flame Guard as well. She is a great support utility hero in my opinion. 12 to 12 8 to 8 Sasquatch. I haven't used him for a while. I mean, yes, I use him a little bit here and there for Lost Battlefield and stuff, but he is a lot of fun to see. Athene is mostly on my Guild Wars defense right now. I haven't really updated my Guild Wars defense for a long time. And this was one of the experiments that <laughs> I, I don't know. I probably have the wrong talent in him, but it, it worked out supposed to be good because of his, uh, his skill, right? And the Mac Tessa, I haven't maxed out because uh, really, I mean, I don't really see the use for her for now. This is my backup Rock Gnome. And uh, the main rock note, 12 of 12, 8 8 flame guard, nothing, you know, nothing special. We have 10 of 10 blade shell, Michael. And then we have the back of Michael and the revenant and the dracax that I am actually having a lot of fun in Lost Battlefield and one other game mode I'll show you later. And these are a lot of these arch demon heroes I don't really upgrade anymore because I don't really feel the need to haggle for that 6,000 fame. Yes, I know one day I will though. You know, if I see like, oh, you know what? I want to try out. I'm just going to browse through these heroes. If I want to try out to like, oh, I just want to see this game mechanic up here and there and I have a lot of extra fame, I would do it, but I'd rather max some, some other heroes uh, rather than allocating that to a certain hero. So uh, if you see here, a lot of my heroes are 9 to 10, but you know, the main ones are 12 and 12 and 11 to 12 and 10 and 10. And these are the garrison heroes, and uh, back uh, the dupes in the back are the, the evil heroes. Uh, they are lower in skills. But let's get into what do we get into next? I have this kind of like universal artifact placement right now. This is working for now, working great for a lot of game modes that I'm playing in. So I'm gonna leave it right there. We have pets also work as a universal, including arena. That reminds me, should I just run one arena real quick so that I am not full? Yep, Tutoki, let's go. Let's challenge Tutoki right now. See this, the beauty of it is I don't really have to change any crest, artifact, or what have you. We just run it. And until the top, fifth, top, top 50, I, I do not expect any loss, I think, yeah. Whoa, quite tanky setup you got there, Tutoki. Wow, that, that is what, yeah. We're good. We are good. See, all these arena heroes are, are maxed out, 12 of 12. Uh, Serena is 12 of 12, yeah. Yeah. And then of course the the one of the most important ones are equipment. We're gonna go from the front right here. He is close to max, but this is what I have on him. Let's go Serena. Serena I have mostly HP. And Dove Keeper I have mostly accuracy for sure. And Esperita I have mostly HP. Uh, a lot of these are not maxed out, so I'm, and because I know I might change it 
for you know for the better if I find out this is a lot of accuracy because I found out his skill doesn't freeze if you don't hit the opponent there's so much dodge up there we have what Athene Athene is mostly tanking and deflecting because he's immune to silence we got accuracy on him for sure that that's and then this guy too accuracy because I want his uh, guaranteed damage to hit we got right there and then Rockno I'm not sure if I'm gonna change it or not it looks so cool right now we got accuracy on gunslinger as well because I want her to proc and hit targets yeah that's right the healing and we got mostly dodge and one crit that doesn't really make sense but it was there I don't want to change it we got a lot of accuracy on Anubis as well so my setup is gonna hit look at that accuracy and HP mostly accuracy though because what is it adding 15,000 to 300,000 HP it doesn't really do any good anyways you know except Michael Michael you don't really need anything else but that uh, in my opinion, I mean either that or dodge maybe and get the uh, little Nick even little Nick has accuracy because I used to use him in lost battlefield and we do need him to hit the target to freeze and uh, A lot of these let me see who matters. Yeah, she matters accuracy right there and She matters too. accuracy and crit damage. Yeah, because Demo Gorgon crits a hundred percent. So you want might, might as well put crit damage for a lot of damage when she's procking you know but do so with the accuracy and extract x with accuracy man i have ooh, grim fiend not really need so much accuracy because he debuffs anyways even though he hits or not and these are just nothing like except for some arch demon and this i tried quite a lot of dodge i don't want to roll, roll the fifth dodge at that time i was trying uh scorch Scorch one, it didn't work out very well. And the Valentina, we got HP, and then there you go. And Golem, yeah, Golem, we got a ton of HP. What, what else we got? Who else? Do I, oh, yeah, of course, can't forget the Skull Knight with a ton of HP. I might change him to accuracy, I don't know, he is needed, especially on his proc. He hits so much, and I have dodge on him. Let's just go really fast on this last. Couple heroes. Yeah, the rest doesn't really. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, some accuracy and damage. Yeah, the rest doesn't really do much. With the Aries, how did I do it? A lot of these I left it like that for a long time since Enchantment came out. And of course, right, you gotta show off the. I have five attacks. I need one more. But <laughs> not about that life, man, spending like that much. And Pumpkin Duke with crit resist and dodge mixture who else matters that's it I mean we got I think I think that's it let me see what this is all about we got Jenny so I have three three setups right here I'm just gonna go through it real quickly I have the setup this is the quick setup so that I can blow through enemies and then I have this for taking care of altar. Sometimes I change it depending. And then I have this one for arch demon, uh, for demons because it's it has uh, quite a lot of scatter in it. But I'm gonna use this. One. Let's do this instead. Okay, now he's proking. Got the storm eater. Okay, after about four tries, it looks like we're gonna finally win this one. It's such a strong setup right here. But I'm I changed uh, the aggro a little bit to make uh, to make my team kind of attack Storm first because I know that their team is just like trying to do the marathon thing so I, I did this so anyways these are my three teams and uh, what I got aside from that I haven't done AH yet I, I get a bother uh, dark knight to help me out with that dungeons where we are up to 710 for sure but uh, yeah I mean anything else 
what I call it. I think that's it. I mean, hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you want to see in specific in this account. Uh, I'm not a hoarder, so there's nothing really for me to show here. I got this right here. Do I even have... I have a couple name erasers, extra skins, not much. I have enough to max another hero if I if I get it. And aside from that, there's there's nothing really I'm hoarding. Uh, my crest game is okay, it's so so I don't have like 15 revitalized five, but I do have a few. But anyways, that's that for uh, ultra review. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome as always. Poke out.